Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very classic New Year's look which is going to be silver eyes and um, I've actually not decided what lip shade I'm going to go for. I have a couple of options so I might show you which ones I will be wearing. I mean I will try out everything and I might decide finally at the end. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed and if you do, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get into the video. For primer, I'm using the Bourjois Flower Perfection Primer. It's a very thick consistency so I'm just going to put that literally in the middle, just like that, on my nose. And rather than rubbing, you should like press it. so. It gets into your skin and it kind of like fills in your pores as well. Now that primer is done, the next one is my MAC Studio Fix Foundation. Um, this is in the shade NW40. It's not the right shade for me. It's a bit dark for me, but I'm still going to make it work. I'm just taking a flat brush and literally just gonna put that like all over my face. So this is literally a full cover foundation so you don't need to go in with anything else because I think this does the job completely for me. So once that is done I'm just taking a beauty sponge again. It's damp. I know it looks quite huge actually but it's a new one I'm trying out so I'm just gonna blend everything out. So once that is done I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Toast. I'm gonna use this to contour. It's been so long since I used this, so I might as well use it for this video. I'm gonna take like one of these brushes, a toothbrush kind of brush, and blend it out. I'm just gonna go over it with a sponge just to make sure. So once that is done, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder, Transparent Powder, and taking a bit with my sponge. I'm just gonna put that under my eye. I'm taking another powder brush and setting the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna dust this off which is under my eye quickly. For my brows, I'm using the Makeup Revolution uh, Brow Pomade in the shade Graphite. Taking an angled brush gonna fill in my brows really quickly next up I'm just quickly gonna bronze my face using the collection bronze glow this is a MAC one just quickly to give me some color looking way too washed out right now For eyeshadow, I'm just going to use the Stay Matte and set my base. Um, the next thing, I'm going to use the Collection Bronzer again and just put it above my crease and blend it out. Just like that. Now for the silver glittery look, I have two options for the lids. So you can either use the Makeup Gallery Silver, which is kind of like a blackish silver. It's not really a silver silver, but it is a blackish silver. Um, another one is the Collection 
Glam Crystal. This is a pure silver color. It is, it's really good. I'm gonna swatch both of it for you guys. So this is, this is a collection one. And this is the makeup gallery one. As you can see, this is a lot darker. It's a more blackish silver and this is a more pure silver. Mm, which one do I want to use today? Mm. You know what? I'm going to try doing both. So first up, I'm using the makeup gallery. I really love this color. Like it's a beautiful shade. I'm going to come closer and put it literally all over my eyelid. Next up, I'm taking the collection one and literally just popping it right on the center. Just like that. Quickly gonna do the other eye and be right back. So guys, while that is drying out, I'm gonna use the Lacme Iconic. I don't know what this is, it's like an eyeliner but this is in the shade green. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. So this is how it looks. I'm going to take that and swatch it for you guys. It's such a rich green and it suits so perfectly with my velvet green top. So I think, I think this is dried up. I'm gonna put a liquid liner. Hopefully it's dried. So that is my wing eyeliner done. I'm just quickly going to curl my lashes. So I'm just going to let my lashes just sit there for some time. Um, by that time, I'm going to do my highlight and today I'm going to use the MUA Luxe Strobe Glow Highlight. This is a very, very silvery highlight. I think it's a bit too pale for me. It comes with a cream and a powder product with, of course, a mirror. Um, I'm just going to use the powder product. I'm going to be very light handed on this because it's going to be too bright, I feel. Oh yes, that subtle glow. So you can either leave it at that or you can obviously go for more highlight, which I'm gonna do. So for mascara, I'm using the Rimmel London Wonderful Mascara. This is in the shade Extra Black. Just quickly gonna do my eyelashes. For lips, there are actually a couple of options for you guys. So there is one Rimmel Apocalypse. This is a lip lacquer in the shade Rosetto, I think, I don't know. Um, that's one of them. I'll swatch it for you guys. Come on. That is Rosetto. Um, another one is the Revlon. This is, I think, a gloss, but it is super pigmented. So, this is in the shade 056. Yeah. Let's watch this one as well. That is the Revlon one, and this is the Rimmel one. Finally, I have a nude lipstick. Well, a liquid lipstick. Um, this is a collection one, well, the Kiss. This is in the shade Caramel 2, I think. Um, this is a nude shade. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Just right this one. I think I'm just gonna line my lips using the Miss Claire lip liner in the shade. 
Where the hell do they write the shade of these things? Okay, 10. 10 in the shade 10. I'm just gonna line my lips. Let me use this one first, the Rimmel one. I am loving this. Mm. Confusion. I think I might top up the lip lacquer with this gloss. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's try it. Oh, that's too dark. And the next one is the collection one. It's a very nude lip. So that is it for the look guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and if you did, Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section down below what products you like the best from this video and let me know what are you guys doing for New Year's and what kind of look y'all are going to go through. Um, just let me know anything in the comment section down below and I will read it. And also I just want to let you guys know that I reached 100 subscribers which I'm so thankful and grateful for. It would have never been possible without your guys support and I hope to make really good content for you guys. and. Hope to never disappoint you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.